Good Springs? <laughs> I'm just going as far as searchlight. What's anybody want to go to Good Springs for anyway? That town's been near deserted ever since the mine closed and the Gillespie's moved their silver operation over to Kingman, Arizona. Be dark for long. Rattlers come out to the road for warmth then. Persons don't stand a chance way out here with them buggers. People have been known to just disappear out here in this desert. One minute to there and then whoop, gone. I'm ahead of schedule today. Maybe we could stop and stretch somewhere. I guess Good Springs ain't too far out of my way. Thank God I come along when I did. Town's just up ahead. This looks like a nice, quiet spot. Miss? Hello. Something you want? How can I tell till I know what you got? Maybe you're making a mistake. Maybe you're looking for somebody else's place. Not mine. I'm looking for you. How do you know? You ain't seen me before. 
You're Jess Tyler. Who are you? Just somebody you might like to know. I don't like people making fun. Maybe I'm not. Cold. I like it warm. With foam on it. You're a Morgan, ain't you? What makes you think that? You can tell a Morgan anywhere. If you know what to look for. I bet I know what you was looking for when you was 19. Bill Morgan was 14. You must have liked it. You married her. Maybe. You didn't like Bill? Once. You must have liked her more than once. You had two kids. I don't talk about it. Did other men have something to do with it? Maybe. A man named Mo Blue? So you put her out. No. She left. With him. Well, maybe she didn't want to be stuck out here alone. Maybe she liked people. Yeah. Maybe she liked a lot of things. Do you ever think about her? Uh-uh. Or the children? Sometimes. You ever want to see them? They left when the mine closed. Ten years ago. When it was operating, I was in charge of the small chunks of ore. You know, the kind that somebody can just reach down, pick up a stick in their pocket and run off with? Well, I never did. Not even a few nuggets? Just for yourself? Or Belle? No. That's why they give me the job of guarding it now. Keeping it away from scavengers. Well, maybe you should have taken some. Things might have been different for you and her. I doubt it. That's what I heard. Who from? Don't you know? No. <laughs> Look who's rearing up. Hey, don't it get lonely out here? Or is just milking that cow good enough for you? You keep talking like that. Something just might happen to you. Not unless I want it to. If you were a Morgan, you'd want it to. That's good. Because I am a Morgan. I'm your daughter, Katie. Jess? You didn't think I'd still be a little girl, did you? No. I didn't think you'd be so grown up, either. I had to grow up around Belle in that boarding house she runs for Gillespie Miners. I was ten when I found out she was selling more to the boarders than just meals and clean sheets. Jane, too, I suppose. Yeah, but it wasn't all bad. The miners was nice to us. 
We reminded them of their own kids. We called them Daddy Bob, Daddy George. It made them feel good, I guess. Not so lonely. Jane used to favor me. She still? Uh, she took over running the place when Belle got sick, but she wanted to go on and finish school. Belle's sickness. Oh, come out of a bottle. This is pretty bad lung trouble. Doctor says she ain't got long. We tried to get Mo Blue to help out. That's like trying to get water to run uphill. You finished school? No. What happened? Is it ever? It's cool when I started swelling. Baby was born about a month ago. Boy. His daddy ain't even seen him. Boy. Let's see, I'm sorry, Jess. That's what he says. I couldn't take it anymore. Listening to the laughs and the whispers. Walk down the street with my stomach out and, and hear people say, that's Belle's daughter, all right. That's... One kid that listened good to her parent. Janie's taking care of the baby. She really loves her. But I had to get away. You don't have to do that. Oh, I don't mind. I want to. I like doing things for a man. You make somebody a good wife. Maybe. But I ain't wanting to get married. Right now. What are you planning on? you from being lonely. I come to stay with you. Can't do that, Katie. Uh -uh. Sorry, you just can't. Don't make me go. Look, get your stuff together, and I'll run you wherever you want to go. Just can't stay here. Please. Yes. I'm a daughter. And I got nowhere to go. Good night.
Katie, it's Sunday. I gotta go to church. Katie! Katie! doing up there? Just looking. Well, there ain't much to look at. Do you ever go in, Jeff? Yeah, once in a while. Make sure no scavenger's been in there. How much silver's in there, Jeff? Oh, there's a good bit of little stuff. Chippings, mostly. But not enough for Mr. Gillespie to keep a full crew on. Keep both the mine and the mill working at the same time. Is that why they closed it down? Yeah. Maybe they didn't stick with it long enough. Maybe it's still there. Maybe. But you know, Mr. Gillespie's a pretty smart businessman. He knows what he's doing. Yeah. He's getting late and I gotta go to church. Is there enough silver in there to make one, maybe two people rich? Yeah. Maybe. If they could get to it. What's to stop them? Me? Now, let's go. No. You're the guard here, Jess. What's to stop us from getting it out? Ourselves. Now, come on. Is all you want from life that miserable shack and a lonely, closed-down mine to live with? Katie. We all come to be what God put us on this earth to be. Now, Mr. Gillespie was made to own this mine, and I was made to guard it. That's just the way things are, and that's just fine. No, it's not, Jess. You got nothing in this job and in this place. And having nothing is, is being nothing. Jess, I ain't got anything either. But we could change that. If we had what's in there. Is that all you came back for? Silver. You got more Morgan in you than Tyler. <laughs> maybe, son, maybe that ain't all bad. Oh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. You know, maybe those people in Kingman were right. Bad comes from bad. Maybe you just are your mother's daughter. No! Yes, you were bad when you got yourself pregnant without being married. But what I got from it was good. Little Danny. Jess, the father of my baby is Wash Gillespie, whose father owns this mine. Yeah. Oh, he enjoyed himself with me pretty good, but he couldn't stand up to his parents and marry me. The people who treat you so good, Jess, the good Gillespies, they talked him out of marrying me because I'm a Morgan and a Tyler. I'm not as good as a Gillespie. But that don't make stealing their silver right. Right! They own me and my baby. If I take their silver, that's payment. And that's right, and it's good. Jess, the first time I ever had a paper dollar bill in my hand, I was 12 years old. I let one of the boarders spend the night with me. Maybe that was bad. But the things I bought with that money was good. And I want more for me and for my baby. I want good things for us. And if that's bad, then I want to be bad. I'm taking you to church. Just remember, you're not Bell's daughter. scavenger.
us all pray. We thank you, Father, for allowing us to gather together again on this day. Amen. 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 We don't get many outsiders coming around here much anymore. But today we have Katie Tyler with us. She's been living with her mama for some time now. Well, if our simple way of life ain't too boring for her, maybe she'll stay around for a while. Katie Tyler living over there in Kingman, coming back this way, brings to mind the 15th chapter of the Book of Luke. Where Jesus told a story about this wealthy man who divided his goods between his two sons. One of the sons saved his portion and stayed home. The other one took his to a foreign land and came in contact with temptations that he'd never been faced with before. He gave into those temptations of riotous living, strong wine, and the sin of lust and fornication with the flesh of harlots. He woke one of Found he had nothing left. So the son went home. He went home and he faced his father and he said, Father, I've sinned against heaven before thee. I should no more be called your son. What did his father do when the prodigal son came home with only rags on his back? He did that. He reached out for him. He hugged him and he kissed him. And he said, my son was dead, and now he's alive. He was lost, and now he's found. And they all laughed, and they rejoiced. Hallelujah. Are you the prodigal daughter? God forgives all sin, Katie, when you come home. He'll reach down and touch you, and wash all over you with goodness, and cleanse your heart and your soul when you accept him. Accept him, him honey. Katie! 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 Don't turn away. What was he trying to do to me? Trying to help you, Katie. Then give me some help I can hold in my hand and put in my pocket. Now let me go. Where are you going, Katie? Katie! She reminds me a lot of Bill. I've been nothing to her for 10 years. It's hard being something after so long a time. You can only be a daddy to her, Jess. Nothing more. Come inside. And talk to the Lord some more. Morning, Jazz. Who was that? A friend. Who was he? Oh, don't yell. Did you lay up with him last night? If I did, would you get your shotgun? Make him marry me? 
Where was you last night? Katie. I met a girl and we got to be friends. I stayed with her when it got too dark. What was her name? I forgot. There was no girl who brought you home. No. Who was it then? Her brother. What did you do last night? Enjoyed ourselves. But I don't think you'd like that. Excuse me, Jess. What are you going to do? Woman's business. Stay here. But I just don't want you pulling anything like you did yesterday. I've been thinking about it, Chessman. I just don't think it'll work if I do stay here. Look, I don't mind you having fun every now and again. No, I... I don't even mind if you have a drink once in a while. But here. I want money. I... Look. I need money. I want to help, and I want you to stay here, and no, I want to be able to figure out what to do with you and your baby. I'm leaving tomorrow. But... I've been thinking about it, and I, I don't... Job. No! You stay here. And we'll work the mine. Silver. Is it empty? Anything. Of course, we, we can't take a whole lot, but we can take the small stuff. The chippings. We got enough to keep you comfortable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, maybe I got... Too good last night. Just needed somebody to look after, that's all. From now on, you can do whatever you want, my dear. The only thing you'll miss is the hangover. <laughs> Kiss it and make it feel better. Are there a lot of rooms? Yeah, we dug them out just before the mine closed. Maybe there's more silver in them. Let's go further back. Too dangerous. Oh, what's that? Probably a rat. He won't bite you. Now, they're our friends. They can tell even before God if there's any trouble down here. If they start to run out, we follow them. This is a good place for chipping. Look, Jess. Gold. No, that ain't gold. It's copper. Here. Show it. See, all this one here, that's copper. And this is zinc. Now, when copper and zinc are together, that's when you can usually find silver. This is a drill point. Yeah. This is a single jack. Take it like this. Knock in there like that. Pry the chips loose. Silver? 
zinc. Jess, won't that take too long? Well... Can't we get some dynamite? Blast out a big one? Dynamite? Are you kidding? Dynamite bring the sheriff and every scavenger for miles around. They can't hear us way down here? You'd be surprised. Sound carriers down here. You just keep pounding like this. Okay. Okay, I'll work this side over here. Katie. Come on, Katie, wake up. Come on. Come on. Come on. Nice hot bath. Here. here, put this on. <laughs> Katie, come on. You can't sleep dirty like that. Now, come on. Come on, you'll feel a lot better. Okay? Some minor you are. Gonna be like this every day? Hurting all over and not a thing to show for it? Well, I didn't close that mine down because it had a lot of silver in it. Gotta work for it. My shoulders feel like somebody's been mining them. It'll be like that for a couple of days. Rub them down for me, Jess, please. Well, we ain't got no liniment around. Just rub them. Loosen them. Oh, they hurt. It's happened. It's rare. It's happened. This is so good, Jess. Good, good hand.
Sadie, Sadie, you gotta be careful. Oh, shit! I told you, you gotta be careful! I'm going to be careful. I'm going to be careful of getting a better way of making money. There ain't no goddamn silver in here. I'm getting out! You gotta pay more attention, that's all. You didn't hear me. I'm getting out! Katie. See this? You know what that is? That is silver. Look at that. He's green. That's right. Silver is green. The chip is anyway. Of course, if you hit a main vein, it's silver, but silver ore is all green. Oh, my God! Look, look at this. I've been throwing this stuff away for an hour. Look, look, look. Silver! <laughs> How much is it worth? It's about 90 cents an ounce. At least $100 here. Oh, my God, we're rich. When do we get the money for it? In a few days. We'll take it over to Goldfield. Sell it over there. Let's get to work. Oh, we're going to be rich, just rich. Stop here, Jess. What for? Assay office is further down. I'm going to get a new dress. You get yourself a new suit, a shave, and a haircut, because we're going to celebrate. OK. See you later. Can I help you, sir? Yes. I'm looking for a girl. Brown eyes, pretty. She came in here a little while ago. Yes, named Katie. That's right. She said a man would be in to pay for the dress she bought. It's eight dollars. Your friend has very good taste in clothes. She's my daughter. Where did she go? She went to the White Horse Cafe, just across the street. So lie down, Looking man in the place. How much should we get? Two hundred and ten dollars. Two hundred and ten dollars. Let's celebrate. Sit down, have a drink. Why don't Why don't we just go home and celebrate? Uh, yeah. This is Bridger. Uh, this is Billy Boy. That's my dad. Bridger, get Daddy a drink. Oh, he got it. Hey, Daddy. Sit down, Daddy. Yeah. What are you drinking? Coca-Cola. One Coke, Patty. Is that really your daughter? I'm just asking. Oh, man, don't look like he's in a good mood. You better get out of here. Okay. Ready 
go. Have another drink, Chess. I won't be long. Where are you going? Billy Roy's got a brand new convertible car. He's gonna take me for a ride. <laughs> because sometimes people need to be made to feel good. Oh, Katie. Oh, Katie. Listen, Pop, take it easy. Hope we don't have no trouble. I have her daddy, and she's staying here with me. Not unless she wants to, old man. Now, right now, she wants to go for a ride, so that's what we're going to do. Sit down and have yourself a glass of prune juice. Loosen up. When we get back here with her, you can have her. But not before. Katie. Okay. Hey, don't do this, Katie. Oh, Daddy. You never stop Belle from doing it. Don't stop me. Come home with me. It'll be different. to say before the sentence is passed on you? The only reason I was in that furniture store was for them beds. I didn't take nothing out. Caught you before you had a chance. <laughs> Got any money? I was only trying to get a good night's rest, Your Honor. How much? Two dollars. Two dollars is the fine. You are the resident of this community. I was just passing through. We'll keep you with us long enough to catch up on your sleep 16 days. <laughs> Next case. Dollar and Tata versus White Horse Cafe. All right. Don't take much to figure that one out. Uh, Tyler? Yes, sir. This your daughter? Yes. Well, now, this court is not about to make a criminal out of a father defending the honor of his daughter. Now, however, there are a few charges can't be overlooked. Uh, disturbing the peace, destruction of private property, though. How much a joint like that white horse is worth, I wouldn't know. I mean, considering the kind of trash it caters to and the transient no goods that come sailing through the great state of Nevada. It's no excuse for you, Tyler. You're no tourist. No, sir. And you're no transient. No, sir. Oh, you're part of our own God-fearing community. How much money you got in your pocket? Um, about twelve dollars. Disorderly conduct, five dollars. Court costs five dollars and two dollars. Damages, pay the clerk. Or maybe you'd like to work for the county too. Oh no. I I'd rather pay, sir. As for you, young woman, how old are you? Seventeen, sir. Come closer, I didn't hear you. Come closer. Oh, 
explosion. Seventeen, eh? Sixteen is when you first showed up. You've been drinking. I don't know, sir. You don't know. Well, sir, I was drinking Coca Cola. But you know how it is. You tell me how it is. Well, sometimes they. Put a little something in it, just for fun. You poor child. Let me smell your breath. But, but today, I, I don't know if they did or not. I want to smell. A wayward minor. That's a nice legal word for what you are. And it's quite enough for me to have you committed. Do you realize that? Send you straight up to the reform school. Isn't that where you belong? First complaint I hear from him. You're up for commitment, understand? Yes, sir. Discipline. You're her father, man. Next case. That judge pushing reform school down, did you? You wouldn't. And besides, that would like to put me somewhere else. Right. Okay, Katie, now don't talk like that. You noticed too, huh? I didn't want to smile too much at you. Afraid you might start beating up on me. <laughs> then you wound up in jail for sure. <laughs> Doesn't it shame you just a little bit to go making up to every single man you meet? What's to be ashamed of? Well, I guess it's just in the blood. I don't want to hear any more of that Morgan stuff. Well, it's inbred. You gotta be aware of it. I'm aware of it. Are you? I am. You'd like to have me tonight, wouldn't you, Jess? Now, Katie, now. Come on, Katie. Don't do that. Katie, I gotta watch the road. <laughs> you must be loving me plenty. Let's stop and have another drink somewhere, Jess. Oh, no. You going to that reform school? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty baby. He's your grandson.
I'll help you, Janie. Hold him for me, will you, Jess? <coughs> he, uh, just ate, would you? Would you get him for me, Jess? Do you remember how to do that? Jess, it, it don't come off. Oh, he's so sweet. Yes, he is. He is so wonderful. He's such a sweet boy. How'd you like to have a son-in-law, Jess? What do you mean? Well, I ran into Wash and Kingman. We had a good talk, and he told me what happened. His parents made him leave Katie and Danny. It's not too strong, Rilla. Are you taking his side now? But they changed their minds. Everything's fine now, and he wants to marry her. He always did. He doesn't sound like much of a man to me. Maybe he's not. Right now. He's coming for me tomorrow. coming. Yes, she told me. And you thought I'd just be sitting around here waiting wide open for you. Well, I've got one baby sucking on me. I don't need another. Honey, I'm sorry. I apologize. I came here to marry you. Oh. Is there something making you think I want to marry you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I thought you loved me. And I thought I was loving a man, not a mama's boy. You go on home wash. When you decide whose skirt you're going to chase, hers or mine, then you come back and see if I'm still around. Katie! Honey! Honey, look, it's you. I want you. And I mean to have you. I mean to marry you. I ain't heard you ask me. I'm asking. Marry me. Yes. <laughs> 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 
daughter, sir. And I'd like your permission and your blessing. Well, it's a little late for me to go on being the protective daddy. Uh, maybe, but not for me. Uh, and I would like to apologize to everybody for the way that I acted. And tell you that she will never want for anything as long as she lives. You got my word on that, Jess. If you make her happy. You will. Well, come on into my house, Wash Gillespie. in Goldfield where my parents, Mommy and Daddy and I can stay. So quick? I don't want to waste any more time. Tonight, was they watch? Uh, no, sir. Only one truck sounds like that. It's Ed Lamy's. Any? Jess, ain't holding. Wouldn't come to your house if I was holding. If you was holding, Mo Blue, you'd be on your way to hell right now. Now turn around and get off this property. Now hold on, Jess. I come here on peaceable terms. <sighs> My golly, looks like a family reunion here. Janie, Katie, I saw you with that boy, Jess. Ain't that a fine boy? What are you doing here, Moke? Mr. Gillespie. How do you do? I brought you something, Jess. Yes, sir. Surprise for you. Come on, Ed. Give me a hand here, will you? He keeps the rifle in the truck if he gets out. Right. Ain't you ready, Ed? Just a minute. A minute. It's Bell, Jess. Now, come on. Oh, one minute. Let me get that. Here, hold up just right. Come on. Come on. Come Some surprise. See, Janie said Katie was over here getting married. So when I run into Ed over here at the Kingman, I. <coughs> oh, 
And I said, uh, hell, pal, why don't we just drive over there and see that? Her whole family's over here, see, and she was feeling lonesome, so I Shut said, up, Moak. <laughs> well, I... <clears throat> I did want to see Katie get married. And, uh, and I wanted to see little Danny boy again. Did you see Jess holding that boy when we drove up? Wasn't that a sight? <coughs> <coughs> get me inside. <laughs> that drive over Ned's truck damn near killed me. <coughs> It must have been harder on him and Moke, though, bouncing up and down on their brains like that. <laughs> 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 how to keep him in line. He ain't got much backbone. Plenty of what makes life good and fun. <laughs> Money. Huh, Jess? Money ain't everything, Bill. No. But it runs a good second best to what she caught him with. <laughs> Yeah, 
that Katie has turned into a real good-looking woman. Must make a man proud, huh, Jess? You're a lucky man, Mr. Gillespie. <sighs> lucky man. I think so, Mr. Blue. Got a good-looking woman, a growing heir, and uh, silver. Say, Jesse, you know, uh, silver's up to 90 cents an ounce now. Now, if it goes up just a little bit more, it might be worth your while to open up this whole mine again, Mr. Gillespie. I mean, maybe it petered out, and again, maybe it didn't. And you could put old Jess there in charge. I mean, Jess knows everything there is to know about mining, don't you, Jess? Well, hell, Mr. Gillespie, I'll bet you Jesse here could put a good piece of change in your pocket just mining the small bits, even if you didn't hit another load. Well, it is something worth thinking about, isn't it? I mean, price of silver going up and all. How is that old girl? She wants to see you. How you feeling, Bill? Come here, Mo. Come here. What'd you and Jesse talk about? Oh. Talked about a long time ago. You talk about us? I couldn't. Help me get my shoes off. <laughs> sure, girl. Sure. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> I know these feet. Sweet little dirty. Stabbed me with that damn big pin in her hat. Crazy fool stabbed me, tried to chase me. She wanted to kill me. Why? She wanted me to go on down to hell with her, I guess. I don't know. Sickness made her crazy. I don't think killing you'd be called crazy, Moak. Now you get out of this house, or I will finish for her. Make him a good wife. Get off! Easy, Jess. Easy. Don't, don't get nervous with that thing, will you? You didn't 
didn't bring Bell back here to see the family. You ain't got that much good in you. <laughs> well, I guess you're right, Jess. Can't compare to you when it comes to goodness. Oh, you're so good. I don't think you've got it in you to shoot me. That's enough. Leave it alone. <laughs> no, Jess, you can't do it. Ran off with your wife, you couldn't do it. So I sure as hell don't think you're going to shoot me now for stealing silver. It ain't even yours. Oh, yeah, Ed, come over and told me you and Katie was working the mine. That's why I come here. Ed saw you. So, you can take me on down to jail if, uh, if you want to share a cell with me. But I know you ain't got guts enough to shoot me. You... What? That mark. That's the same mark on little Danny's belly. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that mark, uh... All the boys in the family got that marking. You pig. You laid up with my daughter? I... laid up with...
Jess, <laughs> come on in. Well, 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 Jess Tyler. How are you, Jess? Been a long time. Too long. Not going to be that way anymore. Not after tomorrow. Listen, you never met my wife. Helen, Helen, come on out and say hello to Jess Tyler. Mrs. Gillespie? How do you do, Mr. Tyler? I've heard my husband mention you often. Always very highly, as a matter of fact. Jess Tyler was the most honest and upstanding man I ever knew. I always said that. I wish all my employees were like that. Jess? How about a little drink? Oh, no, thank you. I don't... I don't... Nonsense! This is a celebration. Joining our families together, us becoming grandparents to the kids. And to Danny. Did you uh, bring the bride with you, Mr. Tyler? And the boy. Can't wait to see my grandson. No, I didn't bring him. Jeff? Something wrong? I just found, found out something. That, well, I'm afraid I haven't been much of a father. Kid. Nonsense, you did what you had to do. Living there in that boarding house. My mother working on well, she might have picked up some ways that... It was probably inevitable, living under Bell's uh, guidance, that she would mature earlier than most young ladies, Mr. Tyler. Well, maybe if I'd been around, things would have been different. But they're not, Jess. Now, we got to put things where they belong, in the past. Now, we're all ready to forget the circumstances and accept the responsibilities. Danny's our grandson. Wash his boy. No, he ain't. What? Danny ain't Wash his baby. He's Moe Blues. Who? That marking on Danny's stomach. Moe Blue has the exact same mark in the exact same. Everybody's got birthmarks. Dear, a baby and a man have identical birthmarks? How could that not mean anything? Not with Mo Blue, Jess. He's old enough to be your father. But she, not with him. She couldn't. Yes, she could. Considering the way she was raised. Well, I can't believe it. And I'm going to ask her. No. It would only hurt you. And everybody else. I think it's best if you just don't see her again. You're gonna like giving me away. I want you to be happy. I'm gonna have everything I want. And you too, Jess. I'll see to it. Katie! Katie is coming! No, that's not Wash's car. Looks like it again. But it won't be long. You'll be Mrs. Gillespie. <laughs> Get ready, Jeff. You don't want to hold things up.
Sweetheart, how do you feel today? I feel so good that I feel like I could go into that Gillespie mine and take out every piece of silver in it all by myself. I just wouldn't have believed that, Awash. Maybe when I go back to clear out Mama's things, I'll just go see him and find out what happened. Uh, no, Janie. You don't need to do that. I think the boy showed us what he's made of. Jess is right, Jane. Let him alone. I don't want nothing from the Gillespies but what I came here for in the first place. The silver. I'll get it for you. We'll find it, I promise. Only we'll go farther back. But it's dangerous back there. I know. But it won't be. I can fix it. Come with me and I'll show you. Now. Every time I look at those walls, I know there's got to be more silver in them. Enough to make you rich. Uh oh! Okay. You all right? I do for you. You just Tyler? That's right. I guard this mine. Sometimes I go through just to make sure no scavengers have been at it. Yes, sir. Which one of these girls is your daughter? Both. Why? Katie? I am. Mr. Tyler, I've got a warrant for your arrest here. One for Miss Katie Tyler, too. What for? Incest. I loaned my favorite rifle to Mo Blue a day or two before to go hunting with. He, he didn't bring it back. I... I went looking for it. I, I thought maybe something might have happened to it. That's when I seen them. But they didn't observe you. Oh, no, sir. I was keeping good out of sight. I don't want to get shot. Everybody knows how old Jess keeps to yourself and on the job. Don't want people around. After I see what they's doing, I know why. Well, just what were they doing, Mr. Lay? They's hugging and kissing. Hugging? Uh, kissing. Well, many, many fathers and daughters, mothers and sons show their affection for one another by hugging and kissing. Not like they's doing. Just, uh, where did he touch her with his hands, Lamy? On her back. Down to her, her butt. He put his hands up under her skirt and rubbed. Tits, too. Well, how long did this go on? Three or four minutes, maybe, and then they went on back in the mine. Did you follow them then? No, sir. I, I'd seen enough. 
at what they's doing, I knowed what they's gonna do. That's all. Sit down, Mr. Lamy. Your Honor, uh, the people's concern here is more than just, just the question of at what point the warmth of Father's kiss becomes a crime. It is a weakening of individual morality, or perhaps simply a slight misunderstanding between God and Mr. Tyler. And yet, there, but for the grace of God, goes every man or woman among us who has ever had an incestual fantasy. Fantasizing is not a crime. It is the act of incest. you must deal with now. The wickedness of man is great upon the earth. And every imagination of the thoughts of his heart is only evil continually. The act To incest. Is there anyone in this courtroom who doesn't know what that means? Sexual relations between persons too closely related by blood to be entitled to marry. That's what it means. Is there anyone in the whole Christian world who doesn't know it's a crime? Stand up, Tyler. You too, young woman. Crime against nature, shocking and repulsive to every basic sense of propriety, decency, and good citizenship. If you're guilty, Tyler, the sentence for what you've done is 10 years in prison. What about her? What about her, indeed? If she went along with you in this filthiness, she's just as guilty as you are. That's what I've heard in this courtroom, Tyler. I'm holding you over. Charged with incest, and she'll stand trial for it right along with you, depending, of course, on how you plead. Suppose I say I'm guilty. Are you? What happens if I say I am? I take your word for it. Send you to prison. There'll be no trial. <laughs> no, Tyler. Save the taxpayers the money and me the time trouble and Spiritual disgust. And what happens if I say I forced her? This is a nation under God. This is a good Christian community. If that poor child has been the object of your unnatural and perverted lust, she's been punished enough. We put the criminals behind bars, not the victims. That you'll be free. That's what I told you. That I'm guilty, and I forced her. Ten years, Tyler. Take him to jail. No! It's not true. He never forced me to do anything. Okay, order. Let's get some order in this court. You find yourselves out in the street, all of you. Do you have any idea what you just said? Yes, sir. He didn't do anything to me that I didn't want to happen. I swear this. Swear in. He never forced me into anything. He's the gentlest man I ever known. He ain't like any other man. Always grabbing, taking what they want, and taking off. What we did was bound to happen from the first day we met. And when it did, it was good for both of us. 
He's your... your father. He's a good man. Best man I've ever known. He loves me. And what you've done is against the law for a father and daughter. But we wasn't like a father and daughter. Not then. God, it certainly wasn't. Did you two stop to think for a minute what would happen if you had a baby? We didn't plan to have no babies. We was just a man and a woman. He wanted me. I wanted him. And we loved each other. We don't want people like you walking the streets with talk like that. You're going to reform school, lady, and then 10 years in prison, and your child to state's custody to see that he gets a decent upbringing. Your Honor, she ain't got nothing wrong. Me neither. She's not my daughter. Sit down and shut up. That's about all I can take. Tyler, are you playing games with this court? No, sir. Well, if you're not this woman's father, who is? Moke Blue. That's a lie. I've never known you to lie before, Jess, but I don't want to hear that even if it is to protect me. No, Katie. It's true. Moke Blue took up with my wife, Katie's mother. Who is now dead. Yes, sir. This was about a year before Katie was born. Kind of convenient for you, Tyler. She is dead. Leaves you free to tell the tale just how you like it. What about Moke Blue? He sure could... Throw some light on this. Your Honor. Uh, just a minute, Norton. This man's way out on a limb. I'm interested to see just where he's going to saw it off. Tyler. Approach the bench. I'm quiet here. You aren't the girl's father? No, sir. Then what are you doing here? She really isn't your daughter, then. Why did you get yourself into this mess? All you had to do was tell her. Why didn't you? Because she never really had a father. Not for 10 years. And she needed that. And because I wanted to be everything I could to you. Because I love you. Your Honor, please. I think Mr. Lamey here can clear up any question regarding this girl's parentage. Stay where you are, Lamey. I don't want any more lies today. Y yes, sir. What do you know about this girl's father? Whoever he may be? I know Mo ain't. How do you know that? Because he tells me everything. Mo Blue's my brother. Uh, Half-brother, really. We got the same mama. The same mother? He, yes, sir. She wasn't married when Mo come along, so... He, he taken the blue name. Mama, she ain't never been too proud of what she done, so we don't talk about him much. Your Honor? Oh, can't anybody stay put. I want you to look at this baby's belly. The baby's belly? He's got a red birthmark. A butterfly. Oh. Will you please listen to me? It's a marking that only the boys in that family have. Fed Lamey, Mo Blue, and her baby are related. Fill up the same butterfly on his stomach. Let the court see your stomach, Lamey. Uh -oh. All right, order. Order, order. Norton, no, 
what you look, is that a is that a birthmark? Is it a, a butterfly? Is it a butterfly? It is a butterfly. Well, uh, just one more little question. If Moke Blue is her father, why the hell didn't he tell her? same way I love you. But he can give Danny everything he needs, wants, and me. I'll make it right. I don't want to lose you. Jess, you'll never lose me. Daddy. And you always be my daddy. Always. Thank you. 